Good morning, everybody. And the bike before you is the state Rick and Morty uh, model, I guess we'll call it. It's a single speed bike with a flip flop hub, so you can turn it into a, uh, a single speed or a fixed gear. It's actually got a fairly decent shaped saddle, and it looks like a physique the way it's been shaped. So, you know, it's a, a rip off design, but uh, it fits really, really well. Uh, Arizona, Arizona, I forget what the name of that physique saddle is. Lazine bag on the back. Uh, it's a straight gauge steel frame, so nothing special about the frame or fork. Uh, deep dish wheels, so the wheels are pretty decent. They're sealed hubs, but about as cheap of a sealed hub as you can get. We added uh, platform pedals already, um, state cranks. What else? Um, everything else is just basic alloy stuff, basic riser bar, stem. Um, the brakes, after being adjusted, actually have decent modulation for a really cheap lever. So I'm actually very happy with this action. Um, it's probably going to turn into a fix. I wish they had used uh, stainless steel bolts, but they didn't. They just used some cheap black bolts that you can pick up at any hardware store. So I'm going to get some stainless steel ones just to make it pop a little bit, but keep them in black. Uh, overall, I really like uh, the colorway on the bike. Unfortunately, it's not a painted bike. It's a wrap. So we'll see what the durability on a wrap on a bicycle is. Uh, basically, I bought it because somebody was interested in it and didn't have access to get it. Um, so obviously, I'm going to make a bit of a profit on the bike. Um, what did I change on it already? Well, I didn't change anything other than the tires. The tires are some shitty Kendas. I mean, they were rock solid. I mean, you felt them on the road. You felt everything. There was a shitty pair of tires. So what I did is I put some uh, old Continental Ultra Sport 700x28s. And they just squeeze in, as you can tell. You know, they didn't give me much space. Uh, the front, obviously, the front always fits better than the back. Um, but the suppleness it created, uh, the right quality it created, just by simply replacing the tires, made a world of difference. What does this bike weigh? Oh, shit. Do you even want to talk about weight on a steel, high tensile steel bike? It's not chromoly. It's nothing special. It's just a steel bike, you know, something you could stamp out anywhere. Um, but overall, the look of the bike is sick. I, I really love, you guys know I love those old school fluorescent colors, yellows, oranges, and green. Um, I just like the way this one looks. I kind of wish the seams were hidden at the bottom. Instead, the seam is on the down tube. And I think that was just a mistake. They should have put the seam at the bottom. And it would have hidden it well. How many people look at the bottom of a down tube? I don't. You know, I look at what's visible to everybody else. And uh, that seam down the center of the down tube, I, I think was a, a mistake. Probably easier for them to do when they were uh, building the bike or laying the wrap on it. But, uh, you know, it's cool, I guess. They did do a clear coat on it. So the clear coat, uh, I think, is what's going to protect the bike long term. Um, the color will eventually fade under the clear coat if you keep it in the sun too long. Um, ride quality. Ride quality is decent, dude. Um, I really like the upright bar. I dropped the stem a little bit. Um, and with the upright bar, it still puts you in a really good position. I really like the grips. They're Vans grips. That's kind of cool. Nice little headlight on it. The front view of the bike looks good. Um, since it was a wrap, there was no made in Taiwan or made in China stickers anywhere on the bike. So that's kind of cool. I hate those stickers, even though, you know, that's where they're made. Um, but if you guys have any questions on the state, you know, you know me, guys. Um, I wanted to help somebody out. Um, but I also wanted to put some of my touches on the bike. And I think I did. I won't put a Super Dave Wright sticker on this unless the guy, uh, you know, ends up not paying for the bike, then then I'll put my sticker on it. But right now, I'm assuming it's going to sell by the weekend. Um, and an update on sold bikes. Let's see. The Salsa. You know, the Journeyman. I'm not selling that. 
but I did sell uh, the Scott Speedster. True, got full value for that one. And I finally sold, and I hate to say it, I sold my Marrakesh. And I simply sold the Marrakesh because, man, I didn't write it at all. It ended up at my girlfriend's house. The tires went flat. I think because it's been sitting there for a couple months on cement. It usually uh, was hung on a rack. So uh, if you leave a bike too long, you know, and then, you know, tire rot. It was a uh, 2019 or 2008, 2018. So had it for a couple of years, just never used it for what was it intended to be used for. And I know I kept rationalizing this and that and whatever, but uh, I finally got rid of the bike. So anyways, this is the state. Uh, it's the Rick and Morty version. Uh, rides pretty cool for a steel bike, for a high tensile steel bike. It rides really good, but more importantly, it looks sharp. All right, guys, if you have any questions on the bike, let me know.